would fall. I would rather go for the flow test. Ah, which in which case he is now saying, assuming I, I, yeah. no, yeah, but you, then how do you how do you call for a trust vote? Or what is the apprehension Look, that the government trust has? vote is not against Shiv Sena. Trust vote is against the government, against the chief minister. Correct say we don't wish to support this government meaning no, mr Mehta, if you will look at para 11 that's the conclusion we demand security that's all they don't say we are parting company need to submit the report to the president but here i am being asked by the person who did not choose to face the i'll, I'll just answer, answer that question well, kindly come to page 21 pdf page 21 this is signed by 41 MLAs. Malod, the difficulty is, difficulty is, Malod, we are trying to examine and analyze the justification given by 34 or 39, whether it could have been a justification for flow test. For governor, he has to only examine that, but for this 39, the government would fall. I would rather go for the flow test. Ah, which, in which case, he is now I, saying, I, assuming... I, yeah. No, but you are right. You are absolutely right. You are spot on. There is no dis there is no difficulty about it at all. Therefore, what the governor is saying is, but for these 39, as you rightly say, the government will fall. Can he look into the fact that, but for these 39, the government will fall when exclusion of these 39 is postulated on the speaker passing an order for their disqualification under the 10th schedule. Until that order is passed, he cannot he cannot presume that they are going to be. He is not. It's a preemptory move. But I, I think we are. Exactly. We are not parting company. My lords are saying the same. My lords. They say that we, we continue to be in the Shiv Sena. Correct, my lord. But still, we don't they support continue the to be in the Shiv Sena. How, then how do, you, how do you call for a trust vote? Or what is the apprehension Lord, that the government trust has? Trust vote is not against Shiv Sena. Trust vote is against the government, against the chief minister. Correct. Lord, suppose what happens if the leader loses the confidence while members remain? Correct. Lord, now kindly see, my Lord, kindly see the flip side of this. Flip side is this. Lord, today there is a government of uh, Shiv Sena and BJP. Now your lordships, my lord, prima facie view is that merely because some people go and say that we don't trust this government, governor should not do anything. Not that cannot do anything. Your lordships, prima facie view is uh, this is debate, my lord. I, I hope this is not the conclusion. Your lordships are only in a, in a, in a, in a dialogue. Yes, yes, it's a dialogue. Lord, suppose today BJP has what 106 six members. Lord, 100 members were to uh, say that we have lost faith in the uh, leader. Even our chief minister, kindly allow me. Right, right. Okay, kindly allow me to. So 106 say we have lost faith in Fadnavis. Okay. Kindly, kindly. He was a allow me to. For a moment, postulate I, it. Yes, yes, you're right. Absolutely. Exactly. You're absolutely on spot on. Kindly see, my lord. Would your lordships consider giving governor the power to wait for the flow test and ensure that there is some management where the majority is created that's the flip side of it mr solicitor you can never allow the governor to ask for a trust vote when there is absolutely nothing to shake the majority on the floor of the house what is the trust vote for do you have the numbers in the house the trust vote is not for determining who is going to be your leader in the house no the trust that vote is what is the purpose of the trust vote in a, in a house of 288, do you have 144? That's the purpose. And if there is nothing to indicate that 144 is disturbed, that is... who will lead those 144 is alien to the governor. It may not have been Uddhav Thakre, they could have elected somebody else. The, the uh, INC, NCP and the Sena would have, and the Sena would have said, oh, they're lost. electing somebody else. Would, you, would your losses come to page 21? There is a direct... That, that is a matter of internal party discipline, you see. That can never be a matter for the governor. Governor's trust vote is where the majority in the house is shaken. And where was there anything to indicate that this... Page 21. Page 21. Yes. Page 21. Page 21. Yeah, yeah. This is 47 MLAs writing to the governor on 25th of June, para 2. 25th of as is common knowledge, we no longer wanted to be a part of the corrupt MBA government. 
However, we were being continuously threatened to continue supporting the incumbent government without our free will. Thus, left with no option, we were constrained to flee away, so and so, so and so. However, as yet another attempt to break out our resolve and arm twist us to give in to the demands of MBA government comprising NCP and INC goons, security which was earlier provided, etc., etc. They say we don't wish to support this government. Meaning, no, Mr. Mehta, if you will look at para 11, that's the conclusion. We demand security. That's all. They don't say we are parting company. Where Lord. do they say that? Lord. They say, please give us adequate security as also our Lord. family because it's Lord, been withdrawn. The governor is not, my Lord, a court where this prayer was not couched in this manner. He has to based upon the material before him. No, no. Arrive... Mr. Mehta, what, what is being pointed out, you argue, what is being pointed out is this. This communication cannot be said to be withdrawing the support to Mr. Uddhav Thakre. Lord, this is that what happened it, earlier, what, what happened says, that... With what it says, it, it, it may, may say they give us protection, but they say we no longer want to be a part of this corrupt government. Well, meaning well, thereby they, 47 they, they, people are minus now they, they, they from the magical mark. What is being pointed out, then, then thereafter they, uh, they don't say further that henceforth, correct, we are not supporting this. If it is a petition, the, there is no and, prayer. For the set, subjective satisfaction. Once again, as is common knowledge, we no longer wanted to be a part of corrupt MVA government. However, we are being continuously threatened to continue supporting the incumbent government without our free will, thus left with no option, etc., etc., my lord. And this is signed by 47 members of the Legislative Assembly, not just Shiv Sena MLAs, but independents, and two members of Prahar Jan Shakti party saying we are withdrawing support from the government. And oh my. this is, my lord, in my respectful submission, the material as para two my first sentence. You know, I'm my my apologies. Lord, page two twenty one sentence. of my my apologies. Lord. Only it is the it common is knowledge no that we no longer uh, govern wanted to no, be part. No, it's past and continuous also. Yeah. That we have already declared that we don't want to support, but now we are being pressurized to support. That's what. Lord, okay. kindly see. All right. And I'll show Lord Para 393 Bomai. Lord, from whatever material he comes to a prima facie conclusion that there needs to be a floor test, Lord, he would be under an obligation. We, we don't want to support this government and therefore give us security because we are being threatened. Second, but what is the fact situation before the governor? And I'll read only one para from Bumai. One set of MLAs, namely 49, 47, saying that we want to withdraw support from the government. One set of MLA, MLAs Malod, or the leaders of the party saying that we will see when you come on the floor of the house. In my respectful submission, I'm posing a question to myself: Would the government not be just governor not be justified in forming an opinion that the govern that the government has lost confidence? I am not saying anything. I am not preempting anything. As Mr. Sorabji Malod narrated several possibilities, I am only asking for the floor test. Maybe they might change their view. Maybe they might uh, sacrifice themselves. Maybe they stand disqualified. Maybe they uh, they are persuaded. Maybe the leadership uh, changes. There are several possibilities. The governor, my lord, in my respectful submission, my lord, will have no jurisdiction once he has a material. And what can be the material, apropos her ladyship's question, my lord, page 393, para 393 of SRBO, my lord. It need not be a later also. My lord, suppose in a given set of circumstances, it's in public media, everywhere, which cannot be disputed. All channels are showing something. But I'm posing a question to myself, my Lord, can the governor not examine those facts also? But ultimately, he is not just, my Lord, when a 174-175 situation arises, he is not supposed to be a mute spectator. He will have to act. His action would be subject to judicial review within, my Lord, the parameters which your Lordships have fixed, my Lord, for my Lord's, my Lord, uh, uh, future assistance. 
But please see Malod 393, which is at Malod uh, Volume Judgment Compilation Volume 2. We call upon the Chief Minister to establish that he enjoyed the confidence of the House. Not only did he not do it, but when the Council of Ministers offered to do the same, he demurred and chose instead to submit the report to the President. Lord, here I am being asked by the person who did not choose to face the vote of no confidence that why did you call for the vote of confidence? Why did you call for the floor test? The converse situation and more drastic, my lord, in terms of the facts. In the circumstances, it cannot be said that the governor's report contained or was based upon relevant material. There could be no question of the governor making an assessment of his own. The loss of confidence of the house was an objective fact which could have been demonstrated one way or the other on the floor of the house. In our opinion, wherever a doubt arises, whether the Council of Ministers has lost the confidence of the house, the only way of testing it is on the floor of the house, except in an extraordinary situation where, because of all pervasive violence, the governor comes to the conclusion and records the same in his report that for the reasons mentioned by him, a free vote is not possible in the House. So, my lord, it's not his right, it's his obligation. Now, my lord, kindly come to, my lord, the... And, my lord, the threshold in my respectful submission is that some material which creates a doubt in his mind. And, my lord, I would, my lord, at the cost of repetition and with profound respect, my lord, please, this is a constitutional submission, don't, don't, my lord, misunderstand the submission. My lord, the threshold of your lordship's judicial review, which I am not disputing, would be whether there was any material, whether based upon that material, your lordships may perhaps taken a, would have taken a different view, may not be a test. Now your lordship, my lord, kindly come to Shivnath, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, my lord is not based on extraneous considerations. So, my lord, when there are extraneous considerations, lord, your lordships would step in and exercise the power of judicial review, and as extraneous would mean completely irrelevant and not germane to the issue. Issue namely, whether the governor would be justified in forming an opinion or entertaining a doubt about the government having lost the majority support. If the documents are not irrelevant or not germane, then my lord, perhaps your lordships may not take a second guess on the basis as to what your lordships would have per perhaps perceived the situation to be capable of. 